So the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my face using the NYX Pore Filler Primer. I'm then colour correcting my dark circles and blending that out with a beauty blender. For foundation I'm mixing together Kat Von D Light 44 and the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. I'm using a selection of pencils on the brows to make them look really bushy. I'm building up the colour from light to dark and I'm using tiny little strokes to mimic real hairs. The darkest shade that I'm using is black because there's black in the wig I'm wearing. I'm still concealing underneath the brows because I do want to bring an element of glam to this look. I'm then priming my eyes using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm using white eyeshadow to highlight underneath the brow bone and I'm then using red on the lid and blending that up towards the brow bone. I'm bringing that red underneath my lower lash line and then I'm blending that out with a fluffier brush. To make the red on the eyes more intense, I'm adding Star Crush Minerals Celebrated Pigment. I'm using the Gold Graft Obium Powdered Metal with a little bit of the mixing fluid to create a halo eye. Once the mixing fluid is dry, I'm just blending that out with a fluffy brush. I'm then curling my natural eyelashes and applying mascara, getting ready to apply the falsies. The lashes that I'm using are the NYX Sinful Eyelashes. I'm using liquid eyeliner to conceal the lash line and then I'm blending that out with a little bit of black eyeshadow to create a winged effect in the corner. I'm touching up my foundation and concealing under my eyes. I'm then setting that with some translucent powder. I'm then contouring and highlighting as I usually would and I'm not going mad with it here, I'm just going for a natural look. I'm adding some gold glitter to the halo eye and I'm also creating gold glitter tears. She may be bearded but she's still a showgirl. On the lips I'm using Jeffree Star's Red Rum. Liquid to matte lipsticks will definitely be the best to use because you don't want anything sticky that any beard hairs will get into. Now it's onto the beard, I'm using crepe hair to create this. Before we lay down the hair, I'm using a cream colour palette to stipple on some shading and create kind of a base for the beard. If we went straight in with the hair, it would just look like sparse pubes on our face. Ew! I'm applying spirit gum over the top of that cream colour base and then I'm picking up chunks of hair and kind of rolling it over the top of where we've laid down the glue. As you pull the hair away from the face, the spirit gum will kind of snatch it and stick it to the face. As you're adding hair, you'll also need to keep adding more spirit gum and it's just kind of repeating this process until the beard looks full enough. I'm adding a little bit of that hair to the moustache as well, but not too much because I don't want it going all over my lips. I'm then adding a little bit of hairspray and kind of patting the beard into shape. Nice beard, Emily. What's it made of? Your mum's chest hair. So that's pretty much it for this bearded lady tutorial. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!